Roblox RDC event, Roblox Developer Conference. It's a conference that's being held every single year by Roblox that invites developers, Roblox developers and Roblox star creators to come and join on a huge festive conference. Now this event is all about fun and games where Roblox YouTube star creators like Creecraft, Flamingo, Dennis Daly all come together and celebrate their YouTube success together with Roblox developers celebrating their success on the Roblox platform literally talking about making games and innovating Roblox it's a place for gamers to come and have a great time like a family reunion now if you're the age of under 13 this video is probably not safe for you unless you're used to hearing about violence and death threats literally <laughs> now that being said I will not be wearing my stupid hat and goggles for this video this is a very serious video and um, I just want to talk about the craziness that's going on at the RDC event in San Francisco. Oh my god, he's bald. Oh my god, he has eyes. Yes, this is not the first time I show my face. I have a second channel where I make more adult content. I don't know what I'm doing anymore with my second or my main channel. But anywho, some serious shit is going on at the Roblox RDC. While making my intro, I also just realized my intro is fucking stupid. <laughs> my intro is like not serious my intro is 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 like uh childish pretty much um while making my intro i realized it was uh, this subject is way too serious for this silly intro but i'm still gonna use it because it's very late at night anywho so what's been going on at roblox today at the rdc event is that some dude got arrested a roblox developer got arrested because he apparently wasn't invited to this event um and there's video footage of him getting arrested like he also resisted arrest which is a serious crime you can go to jail for one year well most likely he'll get fined 1000 usd but yeah and then while i was thinking of making that video alone about that dude getting arrested all of a sudden there's a serious threat to the rdc event some twitter account was threatening to go bloop, 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 to shoot up the event basically and while i was making that intro like a few minutes ago, I just found out right now that the event has been cancelled. Creecraft was about to stream for the second time, streaming the event, having a great time. And they had to delay it, then eventually it got cancelled. David Pasuki decided to cancel it all for the safety of the community. Which is a good decision in my opinion. Considering the fact earlier in the day there was an arrest, this serious threat right after a few hours later. Now take a look at this video right here. This is a Roblox developer getting arrested. This dude is not invited. Here's the police car. And this is probably a young confused Roblox developer who's very scared. Yes! Can I just say as a European, this is what's wrong with America. Like, Americans are like rooting for this shit. Yes! America love violence! Simbuilders fighting the cops. Sim builders fighting the police. Sim builders fighting the police. Sim builders fighting the police. Look how scared he looks, bro. Oh my god. Yes! He's like rooting. Yes, dude, this is a serious crime. Like because he's resisting arrest in the state of California, you can go to jail for up to one year for resisting arrest with violence. Now, this is the dude who got arrested. This is actually the only dude who has gotten arrested. And he's not the one who made the serious threat that came later. This dude, he's the only one arrested so far. But believe me, I think the other one will also get arrested. I'm literally working on an AI that will be able to make microphone input and create games. Yes, I have gone mad. A mad scientist. I don't think you can do that. This dude needs serious help, I think. If you think you can. Working on AI that will be able to take microphone input and create games. Yeah, dude, you need help. People are already making memes about it. This is the dude who got arrested. Roblox vehicle simulator creator. Sim Builder has reportedly been arrested at Roblox Developer Conference 2023. Sim Builder has a freaking guy. Bro is definitely not lasting in prison. <laughs> Hopefully Sim Builder gets the help he needs. I don't think you can save this dude. Ah, um, he looks normal here. Not here. Ruben Sim just tweeted next year they should hire Sim Builder for security. That guy can throw down. 
This dude on Twitter says he was uninvited and trespassed. It sounds like he assaulted an officer who when asked to leave then was arrested then proceeded to assault an officer again to avoid arrest. Honestly, I feel Simbil that hasn't been the same since COVID, to be honest. It looked like he changed so much. Seriously, hope the police give him mandatory therapy. He needs it. He's got at least one felony now. I imagine he's probably going to get jail time. Yeah, most likely. September 2nd from Sim Builder. Everyone has to amuse their workspace to block out the world and do what they can to make society a better place. Roblox for me is that infinite workspace and it grants the power to invent beyond the traditional limitations of the world prior to its creation. And this is him thinking he's Tony Stark. Amazing. Now on to the serious threat. Like then a few hours later, uh, Creecraft was about to stream and he had to delay it. They were saying something serious was going down, like some serious threats. And this is the Twitter account. Today I will be taking action against Roblox for not doing nothing about Roblox Nazis and racists like real Ruben Sim. Oh, this dude calling out Ruben Sim. And Alaskan reality. I am sick whenever I play games like The Petting Room, Furries, Queer Folk, and Innocent People get trolled and doxxed. Roblox does nothing about this. A furry is human. Seriously, what? A furry is human. What, what are furries, isn't it? Characters? Did he delete the images? Because there were some images he posted, some serious images. Yeah, right here. He has since deleted them. Yeah, this is the tweet he deleted. I will be seeing you soon at RDC at Roblox and good luck for everyone there. I will be seeing my love soon, Aiden. Now, Aiden is a uh, trans man, meaning a woman that turned tra transitioned into a man who uh, shut up a school or a church, something. Literally killing a bunch of uh, students and teachers in some state in America earlier this year and ended up getting shot and killed. So this is the person he's referring to here. And then he also posted this image right here. It's so over. And it turns out it was all fake. This person does not have all of this stuff. Or maybe he does actually have this stuff. But wasn't planning to go there. It was just threats. But threats are not to be taken lightly. And after the event got cancelled, he posts on, I think this is Creecraft's YouTube channel. I didn't mean this to get that bad. I I thought it would be taken obviously as a joke since it's an airsoft gun. I'm sorry it's a hoax, do not worry. I picked someone random from Femboys that I hated when I was an employee there when I was 12. This threat was not real. Dude, you cannot fake threats, freaking idiot. You cannot fake a threat. A threat is a threat. Doesn't matter if it turns out not to be real. A threat is a threat. That's what it is, you freaking idiot. Then Creecraft responds, go to hell. You ruined Creecraft's moment. You ruined the best time of Creecraft's life. Unapproved. Criminal threats. If you are convicted of the felony form, you can be sentenced to three years in prison and be fined as much as $10,000. California's three strikes law also applies to 422, meaning that a third strike conviction involving criminal threats may produce a sentence of 25 years in a state prison. That's some serious shit. All right, well, that's all I had for now. Back to the regular Roblox content tomorrow. <laughs>